Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. Today we will see standard 6 subject science in that chapter number 2. Chapter name is components of food. In the previous video we have seen two part. In the previous part we have part 2 we have seen up to main 10. In the part 3 we have seen main 11. Give two points of differences. Two marks each. Difference between carbohydrates and fat. Number 1. It gives us less energy as compared to fats and fats it gives us more energy as compared to carbohydrates. Point 2. We get it from wheat, bajra, rice and sweet items and in fats we get it from milk, eggs, meat, groundnuts and oils. Now see uh, second one difference between vitamin C and vitamin D. Number one, we get it from sour fruits and vitamin D. We get it from milk, eggs, meat, fish and sunlight. Number two, the deficiency of vitamin D, uh, vitamin C, sorry, the deficiency of vitamin C causes scurvy. And second point in vitamin D, deficiency of vitamin D causes rickets. Now see main 12. Match the following. Write the alphabet from section B. In the answer, 2 marks. Section A, first of all we will see. Section A, vitamin uh, number 1, vitamin A. 2, vitamin B. 3, vitamin C. 4, one, vitamin D. Now section B, A, scurvy. B, night blindness. C, rickets. D, beriberi. And E, goiter. Now see first one vitamin A match with the B night blindness. Second one vitamin D uh, vitamin B match with the D beriberi. Third one vitamin C match with the A scurvy. Fourth one vitamin D match with the C rickets. Now see the next page. Main 13 answer the following questions in details. 4 marks each. Number 1. Name the nutrients present in our food and write the functions of each. Answer is there are 5 nutrients present in our food. Carbohydrate, fats, protein, vitamins, minerals. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates mainly provide energy to our body. Fats. Fats provide energy and heat to the body. Protein. Protein helps from protein helps form new cells and tissues and it helps the nervous system it is necessary for body growth vitamins vitamins help in protecting our body against disease vitamins help in keeping eyes bones teeth and gums healthy minerals our bones teeth blood etc contain different minerals minerals are necessary for the growth and maintenance of the body. Now see question number 2. Write a short note on vitamins and their importance. Answer is Vitamins help in protecting our body against disease. It helps in keeping eyes, bones, teeth and gums healthy. They keep us disease free and healthy. There are many different kinds of vitamins. Vitamin A, B, C and D. Our main vitamin E and K are required in very small amounts. Vitamin A, D and K, A, A, D, E and K are fat soluble vitamins. Vitamin B complex and vitamin C are water soluble. Vitamin A protects the eyes, skin and hair. Vitamin B is essential for proper functioning of the digestive system and nervous system. Vitamin C is necessary for keeping teeth, gums and joints healthy. It helps to free from disease. Now see the next page. Vitamin D helps the body to use calcium for formation of strong bones and teeth. Vitamin K helps in blood clotting. Now we will see the activities. See the main one. 
to obtain information of some common males of different regions or a state. Here the region or a state is a given. Item of grain, item of dal or a meat, vegetables and others. See Punjab. Item of grain is makki, corn or a roti. Makki roti. Makki which means corn roti. Makki roti. Item of dal, rajma, kidney beans. Vegetables or sosak and others curd and a ghee. Andhra Pradesh. Item of grain is the rice. Item of dal or a meat, tuar dal and rasam. Vegetables, kundru and others, buttermilk, ghee, pickle. Now, Gujarat. Item of grain is rice, tuar dal, batata no shak. Buttermilk and salad. West Bengal grains, rice. Item is fish and malai curry, rasgulla and shandesh. Tamil Nadu. Grains is a, uh, item is a dosha, rice, samba, rasam and here manduvara, chutney. Uttar Pradesh, paratha, dal, korma, pasanda, mixed vegetables, pakoda chaat. Rajasthan, bajra, rotla and bati. Kadhi dal, bindi ki sabji, pickle, ghevar, garlic chutney. Conclusion is that people of different states eat different varieties of food. Now see the number 2. To check the presence of starch, protein and fats in a food items. Food items are raw potato, milk, groundnut, uncooked powder, rice, cooked rice, dry coconut, uncooked powder, Tuar dal, cooked dal, slice of any vegetable, slice of any fruit, boiled egg. Taste for a starch. Now, A. To taste the presence of starch in a given food item, apparatus and materials, food item, dilute iodine solution, dropper and a glass plate. Now, see the next page. Procedure. Take small quantity of one of food items or a raw ingredient. Keep it in a glass plate. Add 2-3 drops of dilute iodine solution to it with the help of a dropper. Check the color of the solution for any change. Check all the food items in the same manner. Observation is, the solution turns blue-black when added to raw potato, powdered rice and cooked rice. Conclusion is that a blue-black color of iodine indicates presence of starch in the food item. Now, second one, taste for a protein. Aim is, to taste the presence of protein in a given food item, apparatus and materials, food item, copper sulfate solution, caustic soda solution, dropper, trace tube. Procedure. Take small quantity of one of the food items and crush it. Put it in a taste tube, add water and shake to prepare paste, add 2 drops of copper sulfate soil, uh, solution and 10 drops of caustic soda solution. Shake the taste tube well and let it for few minutes. Sixth one, check the color of the solution. Observation is the solution turned violet. Conclusion is that a violet color indicates presence of protein. Now see the number three, taste for a fats. A, to taste the presence of fat in it in a given food item. Apparatus materials is food item, paper and a stone. Procedure, take small quantity of one of the food items Second point, wrap it in a piece of water, uh, piece of paper and cross it. Number three, strengthen the paper and observe it carefully. Hold the paper against light and check it for any oil patch. Fifth one, check all the food items in the same manner. Observation is that an oily patch is seen on the paper. Conclusion is that an oily patch on paper shows the presence of fat. Now see the number 3 to check the presence of water in given food items. Food items are lemon and tomato. Procedure. Take a tomato or a lemon. Cut it into small pieces while holding it into your hand. Third point. Observe your hands properly. Observation is there. When a, when a tomato or a lemon is cut, water oozes out of it and our hands get wet. Conclusion is that items like tomato and lemon contain water here your chapter is completed we will see the next chapter chapter 3 in the next video stay safe stay healthy okay bye